Hi guys, we're going to try this again. I'm going to use an apron this time and I'm just going to keep keep it simple. Sometimes that's the best policy. Okay, we're going to use chalk couture ink. Um, not ink, but uh, yeah, I am. I'm using ink. I thought I was going to use the paste, but I have an ink here in white. Sometimes you don't realize. Okay, when you're stirring the paste especially, you want it to, to be like a yogurt-like consistency. That's what I love this tool. You can really get down in the corners and stuff and bring it all around. And I need this for mixing some other stuff. It's an excellent tool. You can buy these on my website. I can't remember how much they are. They're not very expensive. I bought three of them, so it could have been that expensive because I'm pretty cheap. And I was using plastic knives before this, and um, it never really got down into the... Now, this seems a little on the thick side, so when it's like that, go ahead and just add a squirt or two of water, and we'll thin it up a little bit. There we go. Much better. When you first open these up and they're brand new, it sounds like Rice Krispies when you stir it. I guess that's the air in the product. So, making a mess already. I am a messy crafter. You must know. I go to Messy Crafters Anonymous. So nobody will know. But they find out somehow. Let me get this over here out of the way. Okay, we're going to find us a little squeegee. I'm going to use this size time. It's a little easier on my hands and stuff. I'm strictly going with a black and white because the apron's black and white. I'm going to do this part in white on a black background. So we'll see how well it turns out. And this still may be a little thick. Hmm. Well, we'll just go with it. We already started. And you want to get it on here pretty quick because paste does dry quicker than... Well, this is actually ink again. I'm talking out of turn. So... I taped off some areas because I didn't want it going on the little apron ribbons. So... And I did tape off the bottom this time. So I wouldn't be any chance of making a boo-boo down there. This is so much easier to use than the glitter because the glitter is still on me, by the way. I think it will never come off. Just like real glitter. It's there to you burn down your house. So they say the meek will inherit the earth. It'll be glitter. Glitter will still be here. Glitter and cockroaches. They'll probably be glittery cockroaches, for that matter. Anyway, uh, this is going to take forever to dry because it's really thick. Oh, well, better luck next time. Man, I'm just batting a thousand on these videos. Okay, we're almost done there. I did get some of the boo-boos off of the t-shirt in the previous video using the Tide pen. So if you do have videos with the ink, I mean boo-boos with the, vid the ink, you can take it off with Tide pen. Now one thing we want to do here is make sure we have a smooth, even surface. So we're going to go through here and remove what we can, put it back into the jar, which is awesome. There's that rib, that bow there. Okay, you can see that strike right down the middle. Whoops. It's shifting on me. Okay, 
little bit right there. I need it just a little right there on the tips. And I'm bad about skipping the tips. What we're doing is smoothing this out so we don't have those streaks. You know, we don't need streaks in the middle of our work here. I think I got it all now. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're going to get a wet wipe. Good grief. Tell you a messy crafter. I still have silver glitter on my hands. It'll never come off. From the last time, you might see them sparkle in there. The camera, see, it's all across my hands. It's like I put on body glitter. How weird. But it's really fine glitter, and those paint so those inks see there it's just not gonna come off okay we're gonna pull this up slowly but surely see how we did here one little place right there I want to catch my hands again don't forget there we go and kind of bled through mm, no that's a no but that's okay get in there And tape is really sticky. Okay, well, that didn't turn out as good as I wanted either, but it's okay. It kind of bled through. I didn't make sure it was pressed down good enough. And see, this is what will happen if you don't. You've got little edges here that have bubbled up. Um, I can take the Tide pen and go over it and straighten those out. And here, I'm going to have to use a marker and go over it. But you can do that. You can definitely do that. So, what we'll do, since we're doing this, um, I'm going to do a marker. I'll go ahead and heat sink it, heat press it. Hopefully this thing is still, of course not. Oh goodness. Let me get it back to up to 305. Okay, let that go. Of course the timing is never right. <laughs> now, I gotta decide. I'm gonna do this in a yellow. And that might cover one of the little blurps up there. Hmm. I'm going to do this in a yellow. Be a pineapple. So, until this dries, I mean, it's pretty thick, too. It's going to take a little while. We are going to have to wait a few seconds and put on where is it? where I would find it. Okay, I've got my um, Steady Betty behind there. It's a little like ironing board. I'm going to take a black permanent marker and go over the lettering 
Just kind of fix that up a little. Yeah. This has got worse than one that I had before. Here we go. There it is. It's ready. We're going to put it down like this. Take this. Put it right down there. Put on the timer. Thirty seconds seems like a long time, doesn't it? Oh, why is it doing that? And the last little section there, which I need to pull up. Put that back up there. And it's still not dry yet. That was some thick, thick paint. I was really disappointed with that. And we'll do it again. So, sometimes it's trial and error. You just have to go with it and see what happens. This video is not going to be as long as the last one because we're just going to do the yellow. I was thinking about doing little pineapples in the pocket. I'll decide that in a minute. I don't know if I want to or not. So. Okay. Go again. Definitely go and get yourself a um, easy press. Whether you get the small, medium, or large, I believe this is the, the medium. Maybe it's the large. I don't know. But it's heavy. Heavy for me. Maybe not for everybody, but for me. So, and one last go here. When it's done, you know, because it's more of a plasticky feel on the fabric, it's like it impregnates it. That way, um, you know it's done. It's not sticky or tacky. If it's still sticky or tacky, we're going to um, go ahead and do the be the pineapple, pineapple part and then come back and do this again. So, okay, up. I might not be giving it enough time. No, it's not. It's not dry yet, but it's not bad either. I don't like the way that came out. But this one's for my mom, so so be it. Oh, good grief! All right, I'll leave that to itself. Okay. See, I'm just gonna take a. Um, and I just had one here. I don't know where it is. A black marker. And touch it up. 
Okay. It's just not enough room. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we're going to do the Be a Pineapple. Peel it off your little backing. Now, do I want to do it up here? Or do I want to do it over here? Like this? Thing is still quite hot. I don't know. It would cover up a lot of. I think I like it on this side better though. Be a pineapple. Okay. Who's tweeting me? I don't know if it's better or not. Let's pull it off. It's going to be a bright yellow, so it could go over top of that. I just wonder what that's going to look like. All right, we'll just. Even? It's be even enough. That's the way we're doing it. Okay. Use a different squeegee. Here we go. Probably gonna have to stir the crap out of this one too. These bigger ones. Oh man, this big lumps. This is one of the newer ones I got. I have school bus yellow, but I, I didn't think it was the right color for this. So we're gonna, which is, I don't remember. But we're gonna do it. That looks like mustard. Oh, no. Scoop it off. Make sure we don't have any lines. Okay. Wipe your hands. <laughs> I know I say that over and over, but if I don't say it over and over, it won't be stuck in your brain and you'll sit there and you'll touch it and go, darn it. I should have wiped my stinking hands. I think I will put a little pineapple on unless they're too big. I got to look at them. I don't. It might be too big. It's all right. Oh. Let me put this in there. Hopefully. Down on top of the other one. Oh gosh. I think it's worse for this ink to get stuck in your um, 
things than the paste because the, the paste is more of a chalk paint, you know. So, okay, that's it right there. I decided to do the um, pockets, which I might very well do, but I gotta see. These are the pineapples. I do one pineapple. I guess I can put it below. Shut down the bottom in yellow. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could. The ones at the top are all crinkled. Thank you, Mr. Mailman. I'm sure those are not going to lay flat. So I'm going to cut this. I don't like to cut these where they're not supposed to be cut, but for those are really probably useless anyway, and I don't want to have them in my way. So, makes me so mad. He can't stand it if there's something that goes in the mailbox that has to be, can't be folded. It says, do not bend on the outside, and he does everything but bend it, crinkle it. Stomp on it, I swear. I swear I saw a footprint in the envelope last time. <sighs> but when you get these, you know, the monthly ones, they come through your mail. And, um, which is nice. It's, it's like a, what do you call it? A, uh, I can't think. Um, transfer of the month. It's like a little club you can join, and you get a nice little, if you become a, um, see this got a little crinkle right there, and it's got an air bubble, and I bet you it's not going to stay down. Oh, man. That makes me angry. Try this. See, I want it to uncrinkle right there. All right, we're going to try them. If it messes up, it messes up. That's all I can say. So, but we shall see. He don't like anything he has to walk up to the door for. So, you know. <laughs> he hates me. Because I have all kinds of packages and stuff coming all the time. If not from Amazon, from... You know, Chocador, paparazzi, those kind of things. So, he really hates me. And I can't go to the company and say, hey, you know, can I get a new stencil, or a new transfer? Because my postman is a real butthead. It's not fair to the company. So, I'm sure they would do it. They would replace it for me. But... I just don't feel right. So, I don't do it. Okay, we're going to see if that's not... Checking my fingers. Check it out twice. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, that's not real great, but... Oh, well. <laughs> because of that curve on the pocket pineapple pockets And crinkles still there. Jeez. Okay, let's put some paint on it now. Ink. I say paint, it's ink. I say stencil, it's transfer. So if you hear me, just know that that's what I mean. Because my brain is just that way. Okay. 
then we're going to put this one on. We're going to wipe our fingers first. It's not too bad. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's all right. There we go. And that is it for the pineapple apron. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to go over it with, and I'll probably take a photo of it afterwards and show you on um, the after video. I mean, the after description and all that. Oh, jeez, I just crumpled all that. But anyway, there's the whole thing. Stand tall and wear a crown. Be a sweet on the inside. Let's be a pineapple. Okay, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll know about the next events coming up. So far, we haven't had anybody on, but that's okay. You can still watch them when we're not live. Y'all have a great day, and if you need to shop, remember on Chalk Couture, it's chalkcouture.com slash Lynn Loves, with an S, Chalk Chat. And that will bring you right to my website. Thank you for watching. Bye.